Hi folks, this is Ziggy. Nice to see you again. Nice to have you here with me today with a lesson about Dr. Feelgood's Best in the World. And um, well, I presented to you the um, main parts here and we start again with the first part, which is... <laughs> Start with a C7. You know this is a C major, or you play it like this, and now you have slide into the chord. I mute the G string, the high E string, and I don't play the, um, the thick E string. Next chord is. F major chord, but I only play D, G, and B string. Once again, I leave my ring finger here on the D string and slide into the F and go two frets to the left where I find my E flat chord. Like this, you see, we have the C major chord, C sharp, D, and here we have the E flat. So this is the first lick. Listen again. So the upstroke is it is important to find the E here on the on the B string. And then the next part is how can we say um, it is very important to do this kind of muting here. When I play the riff, you see the form of the C that I play now is taken from the A shape, but I don't like to play it like this. When I go, you see, I have the E major, uh, A major, B major, C major, and when I play the C major, I don't like to play it like this. I like to play, I like to bar the fifth fret here, the D, G, and B string with my ring finger. Yeah, and uh, well. To mute, first let me play the riff. There are certain ways to do that. Um, way number one is you lift your fingers when the sound should be muted. Because otherwise it sounds like this. And this is too much of a legato for me and it doesn't really rock. So you can lift your fingers or you do the palm muting that I usually do. When you listen here yeah, I play and after the first chord I put my palm on the strings. This is the rhythm that is typical for rock and roll. Um, learn this. I play it slowly. And so you add a little bit of the drumming sound of the rhythm. To your rhythm playing. It is not easy and uh, for a beginner to take some time to get used to it. I took a very long time for me. But you see, this is classic rock music and you want it to rock. So. Next part. Um, the second chorus sounds like this. Again, 
go to the this is the E flat here the B flat I play it as a normal major bar chord and play the F here again the A shape form yeah once again And the next part is a kind of bridge. I play the normal B flat uh, major chord and go to E flat major chord with my A shape form. Sometimes I play a little bit like this, and uh, a fill in, tak tak, tak tak. Yeah. Once again. Um, this is the um, the bridge part, and then the solo goes like this, like a mandolin player. I try to play these fast notes, and I use the ring finger in the eighth fret on the B string, and the sixth. Um, fret on the E string is played with the forefinger. And then we have the sixth fret on the B and the fifth fret on the E. And we slide into the fourth fret of the B and the third fret of the E, which sounds like this. And then, I think this is called double stop, I have my first finger on the 8th fret of the E string and the ring finger on the, 11th, on the 11th fret of the B string and I push the B string. Yeah, once again. And I play this little riff here. Something like that. Can't do it every time in the same way, but I like these these things here with a G and B string. I pull them a little bit into that direction and try to add a vibrato, yeah? Two strings. That is rock and roll to me, yeah? So I hope you like this a little bit and uh, I hope to see you soon. Well, Mm, don't forget to listen to our version of The Best in the World in German uh, with my new project.